Hello, good morning, beautiful people in the world. I want to say this is Preacher Lady on Wheels tuning in. I hope everyone has a wonderful day today. God bless you all in Jesus' name. I want to say that we need to be thankful and grateful each and every day from the smallest to the biggest thing in our lives of God's blessings. A lot of times, people take for granted the things that God has placed in their life. But I want you to know today that you would not have anything unless God allows you to have it. So you may say, well, I have a house, but it's not the best. I may have a vehicle, but it's not the best. I may have a job, but it's not the best. I may have this or that. But look, we have to be grateful and thankful for what God places in our life each and every day. Because where you have a house and you have a, a, a cool place in the summer and a, a warm place in the winter there's somebody sleeping under a bridge that would love to have your rundown house as you call it okay where you're griping and complaining about your vehicle how it's not the best it's not no ferrari it's not no lamborghini uh you're not out here on a bicycle or uh, walking Hallelujah. I want to talk about blessings of God that people do not, um, you know, they're in disguise to people that are blind to it. Okay. You may say, well, I don't have the best job in the world. Make the most money. Well, you better be glad for and thankful for that job because there's other people out here that need a job, that want a job, that don't have a job. So the little things that we look at it so little to someone else it's the biggest blessing in the world so i want to say you know i thank god for my house i thank god for my car my job i thank god for the blessings he places in my life I, but most of all i want to thank him for the truth i want to thank him for the bible the word of god salvation deliverance a true walk with god that's what it means the most and what's going to mean the most when your life is over here on this earth. Because you're going to spend eternity somewhere and that's going to be heaven or hell. And I want to spend my eternity in heaven with God. I don't want to, you know, um, waste what time I have here on earth doing the things that I desire that's fleshly that I send me to hell but I want to do things that are pleasing unto God. That way some glorious day I can make it into heaven. Because that's our goal. That should be everyone's goal is making it into this wonderful place called heaven. Hallelujah. But um, I just thank God for, uh, you know, being born again. Being saved and sanctified. And each day making me into the person that he would have me to be. If you're willing to be reachable and you're willing to be teachable. And you're willing to let God work in your life through you. Hallelujah. You've got something going good for you today. I want you to know, children of God, you've got something going great for you. But hey, y'all. I just want to, just a reminder. Always be thankful. Be, you know grateful unto God for the blessings he places in your life even protecting you is a big thing you driving to town or driving to work each and every day God's hand of protection is over you you wonder why you didn't have a wreck you wonder why God spared your life you wonder why bad storms come in and tornadoes come through and you didn't even get hurt or touched because God's hand of protection can be around you but we've got to be grateful and thankful to him each and every day let him know that you love him love on the lord because he deserves to be loved well y'all i hope that i said one thing to help one person out there and i hope everyone has a fantastic day today god bless y'all remember god loves you i love you keep god number one in your life and you're gonna be all right until next time, I can barely wait. Bye-bye.